Hello, it's Allison Salvin with Stamp Crazy with Allison. And if you want to follow me on my blog, I'm at stampcrazywithallison.com. So please check out my blog. I usually blog uh, two, uh, three, sometimes four times a week. I wanted to show you a brand new product that's coming to customers, hopefully uh, in November. It's the Stampin' Up! Paper Trimmer. And this is a replacement for the previous trimmer. Um, that Stampin' Up! was no longer able to provide the blades for. The production company that made the blades stopped making them and that meant that we couldn't continue to carry that trimmer. And while that was disappointing, I have to say I'm kind of glad because this trimmer is superior to the older trimmer. It's very lightweight, so it's easy to um, pack around, but it's not flimsy. It's quite substantial. There's this little... Um, opening up here so if you had a little hook on the wall you could easily hang it up on the wall to keep it out of out of your way when you're not using it. When it's closed it is eight and a half by fifteen and three quarters. It's a nice big platform and it comes with two blades. One is a cutting blade which is dark gray that's the same as our old trimmer and the scoring blade is a light gray. There's imperial and metric measurements on the actual platform. Let me just open it up. You've got the um, uh, metric at the top here with the imperial. And this is so cool. Also in the middle and also at the bottom. And also along the extended arm here. I'll show you that in a second. But what's great about this is if you're cutting a large piece of uh, cardstock, you can easily see, if I want to put this at three and a half inches, let's say, I can see three and a half at the bottom here and three and a half at the top, but I also have this extra one in the middle, so I can really make sure that I'm cutting that straight all the way down. If I have a shorter piece of paper, it's also great because I can see all the way down here. So pretty awesome. Love that feature. The rule and grid... Um, surfaces have a durable plastic cover. Now when you get your trimmer, I'm going to show you something, just open this up, it actually has a thin plastic film that you can take off your trimmer. I'm going to leave mine on just for a little bit, um, but I will eventually remove it. But you'll see it's kind of got a little bubble here where you can grasp it and pull it off. Just like when you buy a new phone or sometimes a TV, it's got a film on the top just to protect it from scratching during uh, shipping. So just be aware that that's on there and you can remove it or leave it on. And it would be on this section, this section, and also on the extended arm here. The other thing that's cool is that um, you can measure from uh, zero all the way to six and a quarter on the actual arm. And that is super because in the old one it kind of fell off the side so you were kind of snookered if you wanted to cut beyond that and then or it made it difficult at least and then on this side we go all the way up to one and a half inches so if you just had a small cut that you wanted to make of one and a half it's a lot easier to cut it on this side measuring than it is to do this now one and a half is not bad. You can do one and a half easily. But let's say you wanted to do uh, just a quarter cut. So I'm going to move it here to the quarter. See that there? And I'm going to cut it. Now I don't know if you could, you can't really appreciate this unless you're a person, but it's so easy to cut. The blade on the new version is much, much deeper and um, just travels along the little uh, unremovable. You can't remove this um, tracking mat like you could on the old one, which is good because sometimes it would fall out and drive me nuts. So this is really cool, but what a great cut. That's a lot easier to cut using this grid than to turn this over and go a quarter inch. Now you can still do it, but you're kind of like your paper's hanging off and you're kind of holding it down. So this just makes it a lot easier when you've got the grid on the other side. And of course for really small cuts, like if I were going to do, oh, an eighth of an inch. Look at that. Look how simple that was. Right? Or if I just wanted to trim off a little titch. Maybe I've got a little piece that's hanging off that's bugging me. I can cut 
really tiny spots too. So there you go. Look at this. Really tiny strips in it, not spots. <laughs> so you can see the different and you can even go smaller than that. So really, really great cutting. The scoring is also amazing. Let me just show you that. I'm gonna score this piece. So one pass, and we've got a really nice score line that just is easy to crease. So really great. Now this is our regular cardstock, so it cuts really beautifully. This is our thicker, this is 80 pound weight. Here's 110 pound weight. So let's see how this does. Excellent. No fuzzy, nothing. Awesome. I always find that some of our specialty papers are, are a little more challenging. So here's the foil. So let's put the foil in. And really cool. And the one that always causes me grief is the glimmer paper. Wow, look at that. That went through there like butter. Sometimes I'd have to go up and down with the older blades. And then sometimes I like to cut more than one sheet. Um, so here's some regular Whisper White. And let's cut two sheets and see how we do. Excellent, look at that. Probably wouldn't go up any more than two, but isn't that great? So you can cut multiples, super. The other thing that the cutting blade has is these two little um, I don't want to say uh, markings. I'm going to try and hold it up and see. I'm going to stand up so I can see that I'm making sure I'm showing you. Goodness gracious, where is it? There it is. So these little marks here, that indicates where the channel is, where the cutting channel is, and that little arrow is where the blade is. So if you were trying to do some precision cutting, so let's say you wanted to cut out a um, square from the middle of this, or just, I don't know, um, yeah, let's try a square. It's not gonna be perfect, because I haven't practiced, but we've also got the grid here. So I'm gonna go from four inches up to one inch, okay? And then I'm gonna move it over just arbitrarily. And again, I can go back to one inch, just so I can lift my thing up, there we go. Now, what you wanna do with the arrow is press down, and you can go all the way down and that little line on the side is going to stop at four inches. So you've got actually lines on the top, bottom, sides, and the arrow. Okay, so there we go. And then I can line these up because I can see where that is. And I can see where the line is. And I can go like that and go up. And I can keep doing that until I, you know, do the other side and then I get a square. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's see, what else can I tell you about this great new product? We've covered the Imperial and, and um, metric markings. Um, we've covered the right side. Um, now, the, the extended arm here, it just stays in place, but you can actually open it up because you want to cut a longer piece of paper. Now, unfortunately, the way I'm videoing this on my iPhone, I don't have a wide angle so I can't show you the whole thing open but it goes to 17 and a quarter inches which is a really big piece of paper um, which I love and it just snaps into place we've got these um, rubberized little feet so it provides stability and um, just keeps it in place when you're cutting uh, let's see what else um, that's good. I think that's all I really wanted to show you. Now, isn't it awesome? And as a demonstrator, we were able to do a pre-order. We were able to get one of these. If you would like one before the customer period opens up, you can by joining my team. And you can do that by emailing me at stampwithallison at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, so again, you can, you can add this to your starter kit. If you wait till the customer period, I wish I could give you a date. It is scheduled for November 1st. However, it will depend on how popular the item is with demonstrators. They want to make sure they have enough stock before they open the code for customers to order so no one will be frustrated or disappointed if they sell out too quickly. So they just want to make sure they've got enough stock to really 
open it up to customers and have lots available. The trimmer in Canada is $30. And the trimmer blades, there are replacement blades. They come in a four pack for $16.25, so $4 each. So pretty, um, pretty great. I haven't had it long enough to tell you how long the blade would last. But a tip, if you have that liquid air, you know, I use it for cleaning out my computer keys and whatnot. If you squirt it down your little channel every so often, all the little pieces from your cut paper will um, dislodge and you will, um, you'll keep your blade sharper. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, email me or just leave a message um, here on my blog because I think that's where I'm putting the blog post or I will also upload the video to my Facebook group and my great uh, Facebook page Stamp Crazy with Allison that's my Facebook business page and you can ask questions in the comments so thanks so much for joining me have a great day and happy stamping